to the place right now, if you vote Democrat, I don't even want you around this church. You can get out. You can get out, you demon. You can get out, you baby butchering election thief. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off as you want to. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. They hate this nation. Get mad all you want to. I don't care if you stand. I don't care if you throw tomatoes, praise God. CNN can eat my dirty socks. You cannot be a Democrat and a Christian. You cannot. Somebody say amen. The rest of you, get out. Get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. I ain't playing your stupid games. Bunch of devils. I'm sick of it. Hey, want to talk about the insurrection. Keep on pushing our buttons, you low-down, sorry compromisers. You God-hating communist America, you'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible says that we'll take it by force. That's what the Bible says. Man, I got to go back to church. I didn't know it was this exciting. I didn't know that you got called a demon and, and a guy did a leprechaun dance. That's pretty exciting, actually. But anyway, uh, that guy who is doing his damnedest to sweat through his suit is Greg Locke. He's a pastor. And because he's a pastor in America, that explicitly political message, which was more like he gave more direction in terms of how his flock should vote than I do on this show is tax exempt. That's the way that law works in America. He doesn't have to pay taxes on that. Well, after that rant went viral, a lot of people were saying, uh, I think he should probably pay taxes because that's just that's just Ben Shapiro basically with a little bit more energy and talking 50% <laughs> slower. But anyway, uh, people put pressure on him and it didn't require the IRS to step in. He's apparently willingly going to be taking away his tax exempt status as he will describe in this video. All these limp-wristed false prophet pastors siding with the Democrats. No wonder these panty-wearing pastors closed their church down during COVID. Bunch of sissies let their wife run the show. I revoke our 501c3 status and IRS, we don't give two flips what you think about it. We gonna take away his 501? No, yeah, we gave it up. It's stupid. So you and all your compromising communism 501c3 can get out. When tyranny becomes law, Rebellion becomes biblical. It's stupid. Anyway, so apparently he doesn't have uh, the tax exempt status fair. And so justice, I guess. It, it, you know, it, it just reminds me of the episode of The Office where Michael Scott says, I declare bankruptcy. He's like, that's <laughs> that's not that's not how that works. Because that's basically what he did. Like, well, I'm revoking it myself right now. It's gone. <laughs> eh, you got to file quite a bit of paperwork in order to do that. But I, I think about not just him because he's putting on a show. You know, this is a performer and entertainer 100%. It's like the guy saw somebody one time do an impression of like a Southern Baptist preacher, and now he just <laughs> took that impression, and that's what he does. You can't even parody this guy because it's such a parody already. But it's yeah. the crowd. It's that crowd that concerns me more than anything because they love it. They actually consider. Like going in and watching this man scream at them for however long he does it, that's that's church, that's worship for them. That's horrifying. I mean, look, I grew up Catholic, uh, we had to go to church every single Sunday, went to Catholic school for a little bit. I was an altar boy at one point. I don't know what the hell that is, but that ain't church. You know, I'm sorry. Look, I, I know I haven't been in like 10, 15 years, <laughs> but I, I'm assuming. That's not church. That's not what God is. I've 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 read the Bible, uh, mm -hmm. you know, kind of had to. Uh, that's that's not a thing. Whatever the hell that was is not a thing, and that's also not how you revoke your 501c3 status. <laughs> I think that was an addition to uh, I don't know, be on Infowars or something. There was a lot of calling <laughs> the enemy demon, which uh, sounds more like Infowars than. Modern church, but anyway, uh, we, who knows? He he probably still has the status, or some people are saying he maybe never had it. You can't trust a thing this guy says, and that is the fundamental problem.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.